All right, guys, welcome to another real estate tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to add tracking pins to your aerial footage. Okay, so we are in my final cut timeline. And here I have a video that I made for a builder. Um, and today we are going to be showcasing an empty lot. Uh, so as you can see here, there's a lot of buildings and you might not necessarily know what lot I'm uh, talking about if you've never seen the video. So we're going to be adding uh, tracking pins like the following. Uh, what's cool about tracking pins is as you see the video rotating, uh, the pin stays in a set location um as if it's as if the pin was there in reality so uh to do this uh you can only do this the way i'm going to show you uh in final cut uh pro or x or final cut in general uh, you can't do it in adobe premiere because this is using a uh plugin from a company called uh, pixel film studios so the plugin we're going to be using today is called um uh, FCPX pins or Final Cut Pro X pins. Uh, again, it's by uh, Pixel Film Studios. It's twenty nine ninety five. I'll put a link in the description below. And essentially, it's just a collection of a bunch of different uh, pin presets. Uh, they have uh, motion animated uh, presets that you can add text to and uh, star ratings. Um, um, they're very customizable, but the cool thing about it is that the uh, the motion tracking technology is actually built into the plugin, and you don't have to go into motion or some other program to track your footage. Um, and this is one of the reasons I moved over to Final Cut. So uh, you'll need this plugin to do this, uh, and. I'm just going to show you how simple it is to do this. So once you install the plugin, it should be located under your uh, titles and generator menus. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of different uh, tracking plugins from Pixel Film Studios, and we're going to be using uh, F. Uh, we're going to be using the Pins plugin, and it does take a little time to load. So all you'll be doing here, and I, I've already had them set on all of my clips. Um, but I'll show you an example. So you would just uh, drag this over the clip that you want and set it to the length. And so I, I want the whole clip to be tracked, so I'm setting it to the track length, to the exact clip length. Uh, so let's just imagine I drop that, and let's start a new here. So we're going to go over to... Uh, it's actually better if I probably just mute this music for now. So we're going to go over to our effect here. And uh, on our effect menu, uh, the first thing you want to do is under control mode, you want to go into track mode. Um, so if we are in what's called display mode, uh, it's going to actually show the pin. And you don't want that because when the uh, tracker is actually tracking the location, it might see the pin and tr start trying to track the pin itself. So you can turn that off. And so you're going to go to the front of your clip here. And the next thing you're going to do is go to your track editor. And once you're in your track editor, I'm just going to reset this. Um, so what, once you're in your track editor, you're going to take this little box here. Um, and this is what's going to dictate what's being tracked. So the bigger it is, the more options. Whatever's in this box is going to be tracked. So if for some reason it loses sight of this, then it might track you know, this tree back here or this area. Um, we want to track, you know, we got lucky. There's a essentially a tracking point right dead center of the property here so we're going to track this little sign here and we're going to make this just a little smaller so it doesn't track anything else and so you're going to go over to track quality so a track quality i like to put at 100 percent because essentially that's how good the tracking is going to be um and the only reason to put it lower is if you want the tracking to just be quicker um and uh, the other thing you could do is go to track assist filter, which like inverts the clip, making it a little easier for the program, I guess, to see um, or distinguish uh, different pieces of the clip. Uh, we're not going to need that because this is pretty clear. Uh, everything else you don't really have to worry about. And so when you're ready uh, and you have your 
first position track here, uh, you can hit the right arrow key, which is going to essentially just keep going and tracking uh, that selected area all the way to the end of the clip. So I'm going to hit this. And as you can see, it says tracking frame 9 out of uh, 239. And as the clip is moving, and you're going to see a lot of motion in the clip because it's uh, aerial footage from far away that's been slowed down to 50%. Uh, but it is moving. And so as it moves, it will keep track of that little sign in the middle. And it's going to be creating keyframes at every frame. Uh, so basically location and position keyframes. Um, and this is really, really uh, time saving because uh, I used to use Premiere and I didn't mess around with After Effects too much, but like I knew how to do this in After Effects and it was just a pain in the ass. Okay. Um, so yeah, in, in After Effects, it was uh, a pain in the ass. And so this is just like a, a lifesaver right here or as far as time goes. So you can see it, you know, under a, under a minute here uh, should be done soon. And once it's done, we're just going to export those keyframes onto the clip. And so we're done here. Okay, so we're just going to hit export data. And you see down here, it just created all the keyframes. So we're going to export data. And sometimes it might give you an error message because, like, it might try to hit the first frame of your second clip. If it says anything after, like, just ignore it. It doesn't really make uh, a difference. Okay, so now um, we're going to enable. So display mode is enabled. And if we just hit play here, uh, you'll see that it tracks perfectly. Um... And so if we want to take a look here at the finished product, let me turn on the music and put this in full screen mode and you could take a look at what the finished product is. Um, and again, if you guys are interested, it's twenty nine ninety five. I'll put the link uh, in the description below. It's um, Pixel Film Studios uh, pins for Final Cut Pro X. All right, thank you. Um, don't forget to subscribe.